Cards in my car with our Posada. You are the first in the live chat. Hello, Don. Hope you are having a great morning. Yes, it is the great start of a new week, that's for sure. And looking forward to this Saturday for sure. We'll be opening up some 2020 Red, White, and Blue Mystery Pack Series 1 Summer Edition. Sorry, I couldn't fit the summer edition on my little preview sheet here. <laughs> Ran out of space on my computator for the, the space I was trying to fill. But see if anybody else pops in here. If not, you will be the last entry unless some other things take place in the live chat and the live stream today. But I will get ready to add you into the live chat here, Robert. Get your... Entry into the Wheel of Names. All right, it looks like we might be good to go there. Hold on. Um, what, 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 what did I do there? Oh, okay, I see what I was doing. Um, Wheel of Names. Let me get Robert. Robert's new entry in here. Sorry, I had to scroll down to the bottom here. Boom. All right, cards in my car with our Posada. You have another entry into today's drawing. This is the last day of June, so we will be having the drawing at the end of the stream to see who wins this month's baseball cards. The rookie cards we got for this month's giveaway is the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie card, the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie home run derby card, the Keston Hero rookie card from Topps Gallery. The Shohei Otani rookie card from Topps Gallery. The Gliber Torres rookie card from Topps Gallery. And the S Jackson Stevens rookie card from Topps Gallery. Cardinals fan 1990 Criterium Racer in the house. Okay, so that is... We will be doing this at the very end of the stream. Okay, we'll be having our free giveaway for the month of June. So just stick around for that and don't let me forget. Remind me at the end of the stream for those that are still here. All right, let me set those aside for now. We do have a lot going on here today in the stream. For anybody that pretty much uh, saw the Trent, you are here. But I know you, you, you want me to wait till tomorrow still, right, Trent? Uh, oh, you want me to... <laughs> I wouldn't mind doing it, but I got everything set up in my... I, I, I'd rather do it tomorrow if, if you want there, if you're okay with that. Uh, Huber's saying thanks for the package. Um... You can do it now if you want to. Um, I'd rather do it. I'd, I'd rather do it tomorrow, okay, Trent? Since I already have it scheduled for tomorrow in my video. Um, but yeah, for those that can make it tomorrow, I do have a package from uh, Tenert, uh Red Rob, okay, in the channel, and I'm gonna open that up tomorrow. That's gonna be our main content after the baseball card set. That will be fam just kind of as a rule of thumb the way I do do it uh tenert red rob is I usually do uh my family mail call content after my regularly scheduled content just to kind of keep things on a normal routine per se I know you i it's just I've got everything set up for today's content here. I got this stuff in the way here I've got Yusei Kikuchi rookie cards everywhere uh I've got my advert advertisements here for uh my red white and blue mystery pack series one summer edition nascar 9012 is in the house um donald sorry about the other day well you hubert as soon as you did it you were already forgiven so you don't have to ask for forgiveness you should know that by now for a true christian true christians don't hold any grudges um uh oh, <laughs> he's saying you got to tune in tomorrow. T 
Tenert Red Rob says you got to tune in tomorrow. I send Donald some fire. <laughs> I'm built like Santa. Oh my word! I guess you are a, a little Santa Claus there, huh? All right. So we do have nine more minutes to just chit chat in the channel here, and then we will get into Yusei Kikuchi's. Uh, Brief biography. It's not very long, not very big, but I will go through um, his cards that I have. And so, in case you're wondering, this sleeve off to the right here, these are all Yusei Kikuchi rookie cards. They're not all different, mind you, but these are all Yusei Kikuchi rookie cards. These are his more prominent ones I have. These two autographs that are in one touches, one's uh, sealed by Panini, one's uh, sealed by Top Snail. This one's uh, serialized 56 out of 99. This is the Topps rookie card from the archives, 2019 archives. Both of these were 2019 archives, my two slabs that I have from Yusei Kikuchi. Um, and also, yeah, okay, yeah, so that this is going to work out good too because I still have Robert's package here. I got Hubert's package here. I got an extra item for... Uh, um, Faith, family, and sports that I got to add into my next package for sure. Um, and then other than that, I think I've got pretty much everything kind of. Uh, yep, sent Robert something in the package. Uh, so yeah, so we'll be going through here. It looks like I've got everybody up to there for now. Let me do just a quick refresh here on my on my chat oh, okay so so Huber's got some cards in this package no problem if you're around here tomorrow Huber you'll see some of the cards that'll be coming your way <laughs> you Donald the best YouTube <laughs> I don't know about that I'm trying to trying to work my way up from the bottom of the ladder up to the top one of these uh, well I'll just leave it at that um, I'm, I'm I'm climbing up the ladder one step at a time, one step at a time, and eventually, you know, you you move up the tier. I'm at the bottom of the ladder for sure, though. <laughs> uh, you are you opening them for Huber? Um, it's a if Huber wants me to tomorrow, I'll open them. Um, did you mix the letters of your name? If so, if so, is your name Trent Porter? Boy, you're a tricky one there, Huber. We can't get anything past you, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. Or send to him to open for his channel. Trust me, he'll want to open it. Okay, you want me to do that, Huber? You want me to just put it in with your package I'm going to send you? Just give me a heads up right now so I don't open it by accident in case you're not in the stream tomorrow all right huber so you want me to just set your stuff aside that i get from trent to tomorrow sure okay i'll send it set it aside and i'll put it in the package i'm going to be sending you i'm sure your package is going to have more than uh just your team bag because you already got those cards that uh that uh tenert red drop uh bought a mystery pack and decided he just wanted to send it to you and the one card that he got he knew that uh um cards in my car with our posada would like that one so that's why he kind of did it that way so uh we've got about five more minutes here to just chit chat <clears throat> no i'll save them for you huber it'll be much more fun i think if you open it on your channel and you can say who sent it to you and you can put that link in your description like i usually do so yeah so i will do that package tomorrow after the 1995 baseball card set and then just so you guys do know after we do yusei kikuchi's uh biography and go through and highlight his his rookie cards here as you can see i have a whole bunch of rookie cards here for yusei kikuchi don't worry you think wow it'll take forever to go through all those rookie cards uh there's a lot of doubles in here there's a lot of doubles so 
don't have to worry about that too much. And then after that, a bonus supply. Uh, originally, the the uh, Cooperstown when they sent it my way. Notice Cooperstown. I have some connections in Cooperstown. Um, I got a box of these sent to me. I got a box of Topps 2020 Baseball Series 2. So I have a case. I shouldn't say a, a, a box of these. I have a case of Topps 2020 Baseball Series 2. Um, I put link in the description of my first mail video. There we go. I kind of do that whenever I open up somebody's uh, family mail call package if they're on the channels and stuff. I do send them, but we will be opening this to end the stream. And then after the baseball card box opening, uh, the hobby box here, as soon as we open up this hobby box, then we will have our drawing. We'll have our, our drawing for the month of March. Okay, so we will have um uh da, 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 da. did you see the Andrew McCutcheon short print best card ever made? I'll have to check that one out. Maybe maybe I'll pull one of these. Is that in the top 2020 series too? By the way, the Nerd Red Rob, did you open up any of this stuff yet? Any of the tops uh 2020 baseball series too? Did you open any of these yet? It's going for 200 bucks. That'd be a nice card to get. <laughs> yes, Don. Hey, Don. Hey, Frank's card corners in the house. Nice to see you, Frank. Have not seen you a, a for a while. Uh, oh, what was that? Something was in the chat there, and YouTube said something about it, and then it all of a sudden it went away. All right, but we've got about two more minutes here. So yeah, we'll have the drawing at the very end of the stream. So we do have a bunch of content to get through here today. Uh, I hope I can get some Series 2 from my Walmart. Been watching your streams a few days a week. Just no comments till now. Laugh out loud. No problem there, Frank. I know a lot of, a lot of my viewers do uh, watch it while they're doing other things. I know you kind of work for home work from home for the most part on your website that you do hoopla dupla in case you're wondering what that is i got a link on my on my home page to hoopla dupla you can check out uh what frank's card corner is involved in don't mind shouting you out for that there frank appreciate you being in here i was at uh trent uh Tenert red Rob says i was at target when they were restocking and only had Tops and Diamond Kings Ugg uh, want some Bowman Mega Blasters. <laughs> Frank Card Corner, I loved your unfair trading video. <laughs> unfair trading. All right, I'm going to set this aside here. We got about one more minute to go. So that is our different content we are going to do. If uh, Chuck happens to pop his head in here, just kind of give me a heads up and let me know. So if Chuck does pop his head, if Chuck Debris, if he pops in here, Make sure you guys let me know or let let him know that I'm I'm waiting for his arrival. If he does if he does show up today, he might not show up today. All right. Let me get everything refreshed here. We almost have 10:30 here. And then we will get into our content at hand. All my YouTube channel best friends. <laughs> no problem there, Cardinals fan. Uh Um. I, yeah. I might. I might open up another box of, out of my case that I got in. Again, I I got a case of Topps 2020 Baseball Series Two, so we'll be going through that throughout the month of July. I'm sure. Um. Uh, just a reminder. Did you add the first in the chat to the wheel? Yes, I already did. There, Huber. Um. Uh, cards in my car with our Posada was the first in the chat. Okay. Um, the first in the chat is when I actually go live, not when I schedule the stream. Okay. So, but I have given you, uh, a, 
an entry or two in the past there, but that's that's the rules. Whoever get whoever's the first when I actually push the button to go live. All right. This morning that was at ten sixteen, and I believe Huber, you made it in at ten ten seventeen. You just missed it. But uh, we do have ten thirty, and we are going to get into our biography lesson. And then go through Yusei Kikuchi's, my Yusei Kikuchi rookie card. I will leave this here in case anybody has any questions. Maybe some of the channel people and my moderators could help me out with that one. If anyone has any questions when we do get into here. Again, the sale will be this Saturday. I will be starting 9 a.m. So I'll probably hop on about 8.45 um, in the morning on Saturday. Just so everybody is aware of that. So let's, without further ado, let's get into Yusei Kikuchi's biography lesson. It's not too super long. He did play baseball in Japan before he came to the United States. So Yusei Kikuchi, uh, born June 17, 1991, is a Japanese professional baseball pitcher for the Seattle Mariners of Major League Baseball. Oh, he plays for the Mariners? Kikuchi formerly played for the Samitama Cebu Lions of Nippon Professional Baseball's Pacific League in Japan. All right, so let's go into his um, go into his professional career here. Hold on, I have to adjust my volume a little bit I was hearing a little bit of a feedback there so as a high school pitcher Kikuchi had a fastball that was clocked at 150 kilometers per hour which is 96 miles per hour in the United States in 2009 in October 2009 Kikuchi sparked controversy when it was announced that he was considering bypassing the amateur draft in Japan for the NPB and signing with an American Major League Baseball club. Under Major League Baseball's current rules, Kikuchi would not have been subject to the MLB draft and instead be declared a free agent to sign with any American team he wanted. The Texas Rangers were one of several teams interested in signing Kikuchi, as well as the Boston Red Sox. Japanese News Service reports also identified scouts from Los Angeles the Los Angeles Dodgers, the Seattle Mariners, the New York Mets, the Cleveland Indians, the Chicago Cubs, the San Francisco Giants, the Detroit Tigers, the Atlanta Braves, and the New York Yankees, watching Kikuchi in tournaments. All 12 NPB teams were also reportedly interested in signing the pitcher. Hanamaki Higashi Manager of Hiroshi Sasaki admitted, submitted paperwork to the High School Baseball Federation, Iwate Prefecture, on Kikuchi's behalf, stating his desire to turn pro. The move opened the way for professional teams to make contact with Kikuchi in a race to secure his services. With submission of the paperwork, Kikuchi was open to be named in the Japanese baseball draft, which began on October 29, 2009. Right. He was expected to be named as a number one draft pick by several Japanese clubs. NPB asked that Kikuchi not receive an offer from any major league clubs before Japan's draft in order to even the chances for Japanese teams who are not allowed to make offers before the draft. Kikuchi helped Hanamaki Hagashi to a runner-up finish in the National High School Invitational in October in April in the semifinals in the national championship in August. Kikuchi had reportedly expressed a preference to play in the United States and even visited in October. Kikuchi would have been the first Japanese high school player to bypass the domestic amateur draft to come to the MLB. By staying, players locked themselves into nine seasons before they're eligible for free agency and they can 
leave only if their Japanese team allows them to enter the posting system in which MLB teams can bid for the right to negotiate with them. Furthermore, leaving for an American team bans players from Japanese leagues for three years. Kikuchi held talks with the Red Sox, Dodgers, Rangers, Giants on Monday, October 19th and talks with the Yankees, Mets, and Mariners the following day. He decided to stay in Japan and enter the draft instead of playing in the United States. Then we move on to his professional career. Let me pop in the chat here. All right. You say Kikuchi, my favorite player too. Well, you'll probably enjoy me going through his rookie cards here in a little bit then. Big spends the big spender, I know. Uh, can you shout out my cousin Maddox, please? It would make his day. Well, cuz if if Maddox is your cousin there, Huber, I will gladly shout him out. How you doing there, Maddox? Are you watching in the background there with Huber? Are you over visiting him? That's pretty cool. So you hope you're having fun watching this informative video and as we get ready to open up some baseball cards after a little bit here good afternoon est coast <laughs> all right uh, cardinals fan 1990 good afternoon east coast east coast i could see him with the red Sox. yep but he's a seattle mariner sorry is there any difference between your first mystery packs and the red, white, and blue? Um, yes, there are, Huber. Yes, there are. Um, you just have to... Just to give you a heads up, if you haven't read the whole sheet here and counted up, you get 29 cards instead of the 20, 27. I increased um, the... Uh, I don't know. I think you got 26. I'm trying to remember what it was before I changed it. Let's see if I can... Wait. Oh, that's right. I only had 22 cards before. I went from 22 cards to 29 cards. Isn't that a pretty good gift? No, this is just me wanting to give back to the community and letting people have fun in the process. Okay? So that is the history behind that. Let me... Um, Make sure I go in here, refresh my chat, and then finish off the little biography lesson we have here, okay? All right, so continuing on with Yusei Kikuchi. Just have a little bit more to go here. So in his professional career in baseball, the Siatama Cebu Lions. On November 20th, 2009, Yu Kikuchi... Uh, signed a pro deal with the Sayama, Saitama Cebu Lions. <laughs> the deal included a 100 million yen, which is about a million dollars U.S. signing bonus, and 15 million yen or 150 thousand uh, dollars first year salary, and 50 million yen, about 500 thousand. Uh, U.S. dollars in performance bonuses. After the 2011 season, Cebu announced that Kikuchi would join the Melbourne Aces of the Australian Baseball League. In 2018, Kikuchi was selected for the 2018 NPB All-Star Game. Then on December 3, 2018, Cebu announced it was allowing Kikuchi to enter the posting system to play in Major League Baseball with the 30-day period starting a month later. And then, of course, the Seattle Mariners on January 2nd, 2019, Kikuchi signed a four-year contract with the Seattle Mariners. Kikuchi made his MLB debut on March 21st, 2019, going 4.2 innings while allowing two runs, one earned run, and striking out three. He is the first Japanese-born player to make his MLB debut in Japan. Kikuchi struggled in his first season with Seattle, going 6-11 with an ERA of 5.46 and 32 starts. And he struck out 161 uh, batters in 161 and two-third innings. Okay, 
So his playing style, Kikuchi, is a six foot, 194 pound left handed pitcher throwing from a three quarters arm angle. He features a fastball topping out at 98 miles per hour, and he mainly throws above average slider in addition to the fastball and also mixes in a curve. Kikuchi has confirmed that he has never hit a home run in his baseball career. All right. So there you have it. Even though it's short, because this he's only had one year in the major leagues, that is our player biography for this Tuesday. You say Kikuchi. All right. So without further ado, I will get right into going through his uh, uh, going through his rookie cards. And uh, yes, Sally, I did post it on the community tab. Um, it would cost about $15 for shipping, unfortunately. Okay. Um, so yeah, I, I can offer a little bit of a discount if more than one bag is purchased. But it would be $30. And then... Uh, Okay, so um, that would be what we have pretty much there. John Fishman's with us again. He hardies go to bat against a major league team of counterfeiters. There's trouble in the cards when Frank, Joe, and their friend Biff visit a baseball memorabilia convention in New York City. Oh, there we go. There he goes. He jumped in a little bit earlier. He said, I know. (laughs) No problem. Uh, Biff says, hard to find card, only to learn that it's counterfeit and that they... (laughs) All right, John. We're talking about Yusei Kikuchi here, but uh, I like all your conspiracy stuff that you do post in here. Uh, Pretty interesting. And when that much is on the line, the Hardys know they'd better be ready to play some serious hardball. (laughs) All right. um, I will get round to you on Thursday. Oh, that, that's no problem, Sally. Um, just so you do know, I do have you marked on the list here. I have your uh, pack number 51 reserved for Sally. Okay, um, you don't have, you can reserve a spot in the in the break on Saturday, but you do not have to pay till Saturday in case you are interested. I would recommend probably if you do get a chance or if you are interested, that you let me know you want to reserve a spot and I will get you in there. Okay? So let me refresh the chat here quick. And we will start going through and highlighting Yusei Kikuchi's rookie cards here. Of course, you can see the three I have up here, the 2019 Topps Archives Yusei Kikuchi in a gem mint tent. It is card number 25. You'll see one of those when I go through my some of those when I go through my box here. Then we have a Panini and a One Touch with a Panini seal on it from 2019, his rated rookie card with an autograph on it. And that is. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. You can do that. Uh, in. In the future, from now on, though, please, Cardinals fan, I'd rather know ahead of time if you want to try and post somebody's email, because that's why it gave me, uh... Oh, okay. Sally, you didn't have to delete that. We're okay here. No, why did you... No, 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 no. Sally, what are you doing? Cardinals fan 1990 was uh, unhidden. Oh, oh, unhidden. Okay, hidden, hidden. Okay, you hitting the wrong buttons there, Sally. Or Cardinals hand. Wait. Okay, so I think we're good to go here. I put that back in there. And then uh, if you think once once uh, our Posada has got your uh, your email address, if you want, you could, re- you could delete that one off. Either way is fine with me. Okay. So, sorry about that, Cardinals fan. Uh, Okay. So, 
I think we're good to go for now. Uh, got it, Cardinals fan. I'll laugh out loud. I screenshot it. <laughs> okay, thanks. All right. So, but yeah, so that's the Don Russ right there, rated rookie card. And that one is serialized. This is a Top Snell card, autograph, and a one touch with the Top Snell seal on it. And this one is 56 out of 99. And then the other 2019 Topps Archive Yusei Kikuchi Gem Mint 10 number 328 is in a slab. So without further ado, I'll start going through uh, my other rookie cards here. You can see the, the whole box here. I don't know if I want to take them all out. John Fishman, he is a bucket of knowledge. My phone is messing about my bed. No problem there, Sally. I know a lot of times you're like getting ready to turn in for the night and stuff. So um, here, I'm going to do this this way real quick. And as I go through the cards, I'll put them back in the box. So I'm just going to show you these uh, uh, cards that I, all the, I'll just go through them. I'm not going to shout out each one, but I'll explain some of them as we go along. So this one is the shorter print version of this card. It is card number one uh, from Panini. But you can see these are both identical. It's just one it has a little bit more sparkly. It's got the little star action going on there. So I do have three of those in case you're wondering there. And then this one here is a printing plate. This is a printing plate. So this one is a one of one. A one of one printing plate of Yusei Kikuchi. So this is my only one of one that I do have of Yusei Kikuchi. As long as the exchange rate doesn't go crazy, I'm in for one back on the fourth. Okay, sounds good, Sally. So it'll be 30 plus the 15, it'll be $45 US you'll have to send. And I know that'll equate to whatever in your in your currency. Okay. So but and there is the the base card for the printing plate, in case you're wondering there. This is the printing plate for this card that I have right here. I do have a few of those there. And then the next I've got another, I've got another Topps Now card. These are cards that you can get online from Topps. So these are Topps Now cards there. Uh, I love one of ones. Yeah, there you go. That's uh, and then here's a season ticket from uh Optic, okay, Yusei Kikuchi. These, well, I won't even say Yusei Kikuchi. They're, these are all Yusei Kikuchis. And there's the uh, Titan rookie card. The Titan rookie card there. There's a, uh, a Rookies and Stars, 96 out of 199. Okay, same card, but that's, this is the base. That's the base card right there. Okay. Now we've got uh, some more Titan here. All right. Um, I put these in order in case you're wondering by card number. That's the easiest way so I can look and see, okay, boom, do I have that card number? Um, when I have larger connect collections of cards, that's pretty much how I put them in order. Just my choice. Everybody has their own choice. Printing plate looked cooler. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I got a couple of these here. All right. Then we've got the, uh, is this Obsidian or, can't remember, a Prism. That's the Prism. And this one, of course, is the is the short print here. This one is a serialized one, 164 out of 199. But there's these ones right here. I do have another one. Okay. Then our next one we have... I got this guy right here, Yusei Kikuchi, Ascension. Okay. Got four of these guys right here. All right. Uh, timeless Treasures. These are the Timeless Treasure Yusei Kikuchis. All right. And then here we go. I got four of these guys right here. This is the short print version here. This particular one is number 61 out of 75 for the short print. 
serialized. And I've got these guys here, the limited Yusei Kikuchis. Got four of these guys. You can hear you can hear me kind of counting them out and stuff. These are the Let's see, what are these guys called? Do they got a name? Status Baseball. Panini Status Baseball. Of course, these are all the same except for the front one here is the, the green one. That is that is a, just a shorter print variation card of the basis. You can see it's a little bit slightly different. These are all the same. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. Of course, the first two are the short print. This is the purple one. All right, this one's the blue one. Neither of these are serialized, they're just uh, color variations. That's the one thing you do have to watch when you do start collecting a player is the, the color variations. Okay. Uh, some of them do like a, like a rainbow type setup. Some of them do like a rainbow type setup. Um, there we go. Um, classics. This is Panini Classics Baseball. Two of these rookie cards for Yusei Kikuchi. All right. Now we've got, uh, I've got an Obsidian here. Card number 18. Got one of these obsidians here. And now, let's see, what do I got here? I got, it looks like. Okay, I'll just go through these individually because these are uh, ones you'll, you'll have them. They come in class one, class two, and class three. This is the class one version. Another class one version. This is class class one variation. You can see this one has a Just a different color scheme to it, okay? None of them are serialized. This is a class two. This is a class two, and then these two are class threes, okay? All the difference they do on these is just the, the variations of the cards, okay? Then we've got these guys here. You say Kikuchi's Steady uh, Diet of Strikes. This is a 13 out of 50 short print. These are the base cards. This is the short print. You can see the 13 out of 50 down there. All right. And then here's my You say Kikuchi Heritage 2019. Besides the slapped one, I got six more right here. All right, so I do have multiple doubles. I was getting holed up, so I went off and rest my phone. <laughs> All right, and then here we go. I got two of the ba uh, National Baseball Day from last year, two of those cards. I do have a complete set of the National Baseball cards from last year. All right. Let me go into this next. Some I do have 2019 certified, top certified, or Panini certified. Okay, so the Panini certifieds here. Bowman Platinum's coming up next. There's my two Bowman Platinums I got here. All right, now we'll get into, I've got a ton of these. This is the rookie debut cards for Topps Chrome. Okay, these are the rookie debut cards. And you can see I do have a ton of these. I mean, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Lucky thirteen. <laughs> Shout out to Chuck Dupree on the lucky thirteen. All right. 
But now, okay, these are both identical cards, but they're actually two different cards. One's the Topps Chrome, one's the Top Base. Um, you can see on the back they are cards number 55 and 73. Then we go into the optic here. I got three of the optics. Okay, so three of the, the optics here. Next, we've got uh, Topps Gallery. I've got... All right, I got four of the Topps Gallery, three different types of them here. I got the the autograph version of the Topps Gallery. Number 15 out of 50. Would have been nice to get number eight, or number uh, 18. His jersey number is 18. Um, and then I got the uh, Gallery Private Issue. All right. The Private Issue is also serialized. See that there? Oh, 170 out of 250. And then the two bases for the Topps Gallery. Okay, then we've got the Don Russ base. The Don Russ base. Okay, I've got one of these guys here, which is the 2019 Young Stars. All right. We got Yusei Kikuchi right on the bottom here with Kyle Tucker, Nick Senzel, and Kesta here. All right, and then we got the uh, Top Stadium Club, Yusei Kikuchi. I got two of these guys here. All right. Got the Panini Prisms here. I got four of the Panini Prisms. This one's the, the short print one. 143 out of 299. All right. Next, we've got the, the this one right here. 2019 Topps Heritage. Three more of those, including the slabbed one I have. And then we've got the, the Topps Heritage Base. All right, the Topps Heritage Base, 526. And then we got a ton of these guys. Probably got a whole handful back here of these. These are the Topps 2019 base cards for the Yusei Kikuchis. <laughs> and I'm not even going to count these. But that's my whole stack of Topps Base Yusei Kikuchis. I'm trying to corner the market on these. <laughs> All right. I have one of the Stadium Club ones too. But that is my top space from 2019. The Yusei Kikuchis. That's card number 632 in the Series 2. All right. I've got one of these guys. This is one of my relics I've got of Yusei Kikuchi. Absolute Baseball. With the triple patch in, in that not serialized or anything. Then I've got two of the Yusei Kikuchi 150 years of baseball manufactured commemorative patches. Okay. Getting close to the end of the box, you can see here. Then we've got the F Freshman Flash Yusei Kikuchi rookie card from Topps Chrome. Got the Gypsy Queen here. Gypsy Queen Yusei Kikuchi. Autographed with the seal on it from Tops. It's not serialized. They're short printed, so I don't know for sure how many of these they made. All right, got these two Tops Gallery cards, rookie cards. Again, these are all 2019 Tops from last year. There's a uh, historic. 
through through lines. Masahiro Tanaka with the New York Yankees and Yusei Kikuchi with the Seattle Mariners. All right, and then we've got some Topps holidays here from last year. All right, which the one I've got the one short print with the the sparkly, the sparkly uh, holiday stuff, and then the rest are the bases. All right. We've got uh, this one here, an autograph from uh, Panini Prism. Yusei Kikuchi, rookie card. That from Obsidian Prism Baseball. Prism Baseball. All right, another autograph here from uh, Topps Chrome. All right, this one is 162 out of 250. All right, and then here next we've got... Uh, some of the Mojo cards from 2019. The Mojo Yusei, Yusei Kikuchis from last year. Let me uh, just grab the rest of them out of here. It'd be easier to go through them this way. There's the Optics. Three of the Optics, the Rookies, Yusei Kikuchi. All right, then we got a bunch of these guys right here. Getting into some of the less, these these are uh, from the updates. Updates 278 tops, okay. Then I've got uh, the Tops and Tops Chrome for the 1984 throwbacks. This is a, a shorter print version. This is number 10 out of 150. Because it had, whoops, sorry about that. Hit the camera. Has a 35 years of baseball and uh, the 150 year stamp. This one here just has the 35 years of baseball. Is not serialized. And then this is the, the two base chromes. The two base chromes from 1984s. Got two more cards left here. This one is the Future Stars Tops Chrome Yusei Kikuchi 94FS10. All right. And then the last card I have is this one here from Tops Heritage last year. This is the shorter print versions. This one's uh, uh, number 21 of 30 photos. Okay. And this you can probably see. This is uh, one of those fabric type cards. If you take it out and you can feel it, you can. It has like a fabric type feel to it. Okay, Donald is <laughs> Donald is a national treasure. Oh, I like that. I like that movie series, the Nas National Treasures. But uh, thank you there, John, for those kind words. Appreciate that. All right, so that takes care of my Yusei Kikuchi collection there. Okay. So real, real, real briefly here, we did pretty good there on time. I was surprised. I thought it maybe might take a little bit longer. Didn't know for sure, but those are my Yusei Kikuchi cards. Okay, so I'm going to let me take care of something real quick. Make some room on my table here. And uh, actually, what I want to do is once I move my Yusei Kikuchis out of the way here. Once I move my Yusei Kikuchis out of the way. I got to leave them there for now. Um, I will just briefly go over uh, my red, white, and blue here for the sale. And then we will get into our box. And then we will have our drawing at the end of the show. Okay. Oh, sorry. Let me put that out of the way. We'll have our wheel of names come up to the plate. Okay. So let me set these out of the way real quick here. I'll set that up later. Uh, let me set it up real quick. Just for now. I'm going to turn the camera around in just a minute here. And we'll get on with the show. Give you a preview, show you the packs that we have ready for the 4th of July sale. 
So without further ado, let me just go over these real quick. So of course our, our 2020 Red, White, and Blue Mystery Packs Series 1 uh, will be $30 uh, per pack, per mystery pack, with $5 flat shipping. Um, unfortunately for international, it will be, it, it'll have to be $15 shipping for international. I have had one request so far, and I had to check into how much it would cost me to send an international package. So that's pretty much how that will work, just so Sally knows for now, and anybody else that might be interested, it would be $30 per pack and $15 per shipping of each pack. And I'd probably want to do each individual package if you bought more than one separately just because of uh, package constraints and package weights. If I can keep it under a pound, it's best to do it that way to actually send you your cards instead of one big package because then it will get really, really pricey. Okay, so no matter how many packs you buy, uh, before I do open the packs on the channel, you need to... Uh, did did you ever watch my Kikuchi song video, the Ballard Ballad of Kikuchi? Check it out. I'll do that, Striker Brothers. That sounds really cool. I have to look, go to your channel and then search for that video. That uh, that that's awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Striker Brothers. We got eight people in here. That's pretty good for me. Usually I'm down about four or five people in the stream. Only because I know it's mainly because of the time of day that I do my streams but yeah so just so you do know you will have to PayPal me on Saturday the day of the sale once I receive your payment PayPal payment then I can open up your packs okay but included in my red white and blue mystery packs there will be one graded card one autograph card two relic or patch or medallion cards okay that's wrong Hold on a second. No, that's an error. Hold on. Sorry about that. Five, ten, fifteen. Yeah, that's that's wrong. Hold on. I gotta make a that's a typo there, and I'm gonna have to fix that on my online here because it is uh one rally card. I was thinking, wait a minute, wait a minute. My computer was doing something goofy and I was trying to fix it and it did not fix. I just caught my own error. Plus the packs are already bagged up. I'll show you them in a minute. You get one graded card, one autograph card, one relic or patch or medallion card, one rainbow foil card from 2020, one 2020 USA baseball card. You get two rookie cards, two short print or serialized or insert cards, and uh Five Hall of Famer cards, five cards from the 2000 era, uh, five cards each from the Junk Wax era, and then five cards each from the vintage years of 50s through 70s. Boy, I'm glad I just caught that. So that gives you a total of 29 cards, which is an upgrade from my preview set of 10 packs that I did, uh, did sell out on. Um, so, boom. Uh, so that gives you, right here it says 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And then if you will, if you do look online, I'll go in and I'll have to edit my videos here and make sure the new information is and will be corrected for sure. Oh man, I sent that out on a couple different outlets too. I'll have to fix that right away after we're done the stream here today. But yeah, and you can reserve your spot. You can definitely reserve your spot. I do have packs numbers 1 through 51. And in just a second here before we get into our tops 2020 series 2 hobby box, I will go through and highlight and show you my two boxes that I have my mystery bags in. Okay? So just along with that, um Boom. Brewers cards forever. The Ballad of Kikuchi is hilarious, Striker. <laughs> I'm going to have to definitely check that out for sure there, Striker. Appreciate you. Brewers cards forever. Thanks for being in the stream here. So yeah, you can reserve a spot. Just let me know what spot you would want in the break, and I can reserve your spot on my master list here. This will be updated 
and totally filled out. Um, as you can see, Chuck has bought three packs so far. He's got his reserved and paid for. Um, Chuck Dupree has uh, a blue number three, uh, red number 13, and a white number 43. Robert Posada, Robert Hone, and Sally Lloyd have three packs reserved. So I still have 45 packs that are still open for grabs for anybody that wants to get into this break. And you do not have to be present on the day of, of the break. Um, as long as you are paid for, I will get your break put in the video and you'll be and I will send your stuff out to you um, right after the 4th of July weekend. OK, so without further ado, let me get my four stands here ready for going through this box of 2020. This is my first opening for uh, Topps 2020 product. I just got it wasn't supposed to be until the 6th, but my friend from Cooperstown uh, had mercy on me and shipped the case uh, priority mail. And so I actually got it in the mail yesterday. I ordered it last week from me, and he said it was going to be standard shipping. But I think he felt bad. He's like, no, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to get it to you quicker. He already gave me a good deal on the case. Um, but yeah. So without further ado, let's see. Actually, i got to shift this over because i got to put the box over. Let me get this here, this here. I gotta get my, uh, I seen Gord on this on his channel. I think this works better than my hand. Kinda get the, all the dust out of the way and stuff. By the way, this was my first through the mail, mail relic card that I got autographed by John Olrude. That was a, collaboration through the mail with Jay's Mix and I already last week sent his cards to him I mailed them off to him so without further ado we're gonna get into it here boom there we go there we have our first box out of my case of tops 2020 baseball series 2 okay so hopefully you guys enjoy this and I'll I'll put one little throw out there. Do you guys want me to save the silver pack for the end to, to finish the box off in a bang? Or do you want me to do it first? You guys just let me know your thoughts in, in the chat there. And we'll go ahead and go from there, okay? But we're going to preview the first box out of my case. So this is... 2020 top series 2 hobby box number 1 of 12 so let's go ahead and rip off the plastic on this one and get ripping into this new product I believe this just came out last Friday if I remember right last Friday it came out so we're going to get this box open we got the silver pack on top there put this I like to open it up like you like you get it in the hobby shop all right there's our silver pack there I'll put that down right here and we will get ready to grip and rip these packs all right and of course everybody wants to know boom these are hobby packs they do have the H's on there so we're going to look forward to these all right, we got the four trading cards in here in the silver packs. Doesn't really say anything special on the outside of these, but I'll go through and do it with uh, one of our first packs here. Grab the bottom right here. All right, celebration of the decades. Look for a winning ticket. All right, 14 cards per pack. Packs with a special insert card may contain only 7 to 12 cards. So here we go. Let me get this ripped down a little bit here. Pop this up on the screen here in case you want to freeze frame. Go back to it later. You can find out the different odds for the different cards that you can find. But let's 
go to town here and see what we can find in... Oh, wait. I know what I forgot to do here. I'm going to open this up. I wanted to show you guys a preview real quick before I do. Do get ready to rock and roll here. Let me turn the camera around real quick. And uh, there you can see my boxes in the background. All right. The, the smaller box there has packs uh, 1 through tw whoop, one through 21. 1 through 21 in that box. And then the other one over here has 22 through 51. 22 through 51 is right over here. So that takes care of the preview. So you can see I do have all my mystery packs in red, white, and blue bags. Okay. So now I'm going to turn the camera around. Sorry, I left my ball cap off. It's getting a little warm in my room here. <laughs> so boom, there we go. Get this line back up here. Get ready to grip and rip some packs. Sorry about that. But let's go ahead and get into these now. Real quick. This is my first opening of the Top 2020 product. Uh, my Targets and Walmarts have still not gotten any new product in. So I was glad when my friend from... Uh, Cooperstown said that he could send me a good box. So hopefully we'll get maybe we'll get a maybe we'll get a hot box, a hot case, or a, at least a hot box in the hot case. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna use, basically just I'm gonna set up here just the, the the different hits we get. The base cards we'll put in the bottom here. Uh, Willens uh, Studio with the Minnesota Twins. I do like the style on these. They look crisp. Um, AJ Pollock with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Here's our rookie cards. I, I like to separate my rookie cards out. Uh, uh, Willie Castro with the Detroit Tigers. Okay. And then we've got, uh, be careful here. I want to keep these in nice shape. And uh, Noah Syndergaard with the Mets. Uh, Michael Franco with the Kansas City Royals. We got Dexter Fowler with the Cardinals. Uh, Brian Good Goodwin with the Angels. Boom. We've got uh, Chris Shaw with the Giants. Chris Shaw with the Giants. Then we've got uh, Pedro Severino with the Orioles. We've got uh, Corey Kluber, Texas Rangers. And it's got the little... Uh, emblem there with their inaugural season down there i noticed that when eric was op uh, eric J jabs on jabs family was opening these on all the texas rangers they got that little uh iconic inaugural season card there for their new stadium um and then dustin pedroia boom there we go a 85 uh throwback for gliber torres all-star card Looks like I think you get maybe one one hit per pack as far as a subset type card. Nick Ahmed with the Arizona Diamondbacks. And Eric Cosmer with the San Diego Padres. All right. Have to keep the volume down when I watch that. Yeah, <laughs> Eric gets pretty loud. He gets pretty loud, that's for sure. Um, I don't get that excited, but I do get excited when I find... Some of my Seattle Mariners, that's for sure. But uh doesn't happen too often. There's not many in these runs. Will Myers with the San Diego Padres. Um, there we go. We got a future star card there with uh, Kevin Newman. Kevin Newman with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Future star card. All right. Um, actually, no, I'll put these down with the rookies. Rookies, future stars, things of that nature. Um, Luis Arias, future star card. All right. Um, Stefan Pescati with the Oakland A's. And I don't fly through the cards. I like to enjoy looking at the cards and shouting out the player name, the team they run. So that way, if boom, if you hear me say something, you can say, look at the card. Oh, wow. Okay, there's Will Smith's card with the Atlanta Braves. All right. Nick Castellanos with the Reds. Uh, Chris Davis with the Athletics. There we go. There we go. Keston Kira with his Gold Cup card. 
Cast in Hero. Gold Cup card. All right. Uh, Trey Mancini with the Baltimore Orioles. Trey Mancini with the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, Corey Seager with the Dodgers. Uh, Ronald Guzman with the Texas Rangers. And our continuation of our Decades Best Cards. Batters Rod Carew with the Minnesota Twins. I guess they're just... It's... Oh, wow. I guess it's just a continuation of this. So you can still try and work on getting your complete set. So it's... Except for any short prints and stuff. Because this just says Decades Best number 44. All right. Nice to know on that one. And then uh, Gio Gonzalez with the White Sox. And uh, Colton Wong with the Cardinals. All right. In case anybody might give me... Yeah, hopefully you pull some Lewis Robert rookie cards. Exactly. Uh, I'd like to get the short prints. <laughs> I do have my Lewis Roberts for my uh, opening day, card number 201. I did get that one. So I've got my complete uh, opening day set for sure. Chris Sale with the Boston Red Sox. Um, there we go. Robbie Ray with the Diamondbacks. All right, there we go. A future star card for Dakota Hudson with the Cardinals. Uh, Pablo Lopez with the Miami Marlins. Um, there we go. Uh, Ryan Zimmerman with the Washington Nationals. J.D. Stewart with the Orioles. They kind of go a little bit topsy-turvy, upside down, upside up. Tony Kemp with the Athletics. Uh, Eduardo Escobar. And I can't remember how, how Kevin says it, but Kevin's Car Collecting and More, or Kevin's Ministry and More is his new channel name. Arizona Diamondbacks fan. And San Diego Padres fans. Xander Bogarts with the Boston Red Sox. Boom, we got a Tops Now card. Tops Now. B Tops Now. Okay, so they must have made another Tops Now set for Series 2. And it says a BTN. A BTN. Whatever that means. Okay. And then, oh, we got our four, first short print gold card, James McCann with the Chicago White Sox. Card number 21 out of 2020. Nice gold card there. And, oh, wow, this is a hot pack. We got a couple inserts here. Uh, Athletics, Marcus Simeon with the Oakland A's. Boom. 85 TB. 33 TB. So I guess the 85 set is a, a different type of subset numbering from the first part. That means I still got to work on finishing my first part. Um, Howie Kendrick with the Washington Nationals and Miguel Rojas with the Miami Marlins. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. All right. Let's continue on as we go through this box here. We got 10 people watching now. Awesome. Thumbs up. Thumbs up in the chat. The more thumbs up, the more people YouTube will direct to your live streams. Just in case you are wondering. So make sure you always mention that in your streams when you're when you, especially when you're live streaming, of course, is remind people or have your moderators every once in a while. Um, just mention that in there for people to do that. I had him in my headphones one time and thought I burst an eardrum. Hopefully you pull some Louis Robert. Okay, let me, I think I just read that one over again. So let me do a refresh here so I know I left where I left off on the chat. And then we will continue. All right, so uh, Sheldon Muse with the Oakland A's rookie card. I got to double check and go through these, make sure I'm not missing any rookies. Tampa Bay Rays team card. Tampa Bay Rays team card. Mitch Keller with the Pittsburgh Pirates. 
There's uh, Danny Kendrick with the Chicago White Sox rookie card. Ozzy Albies with the Atlanta Braves. Uh, Austin Slater with the San Francisco Giants. Uh, Jorge Soler with the Kansas City Royals. Uh, Gigan Carlos Stanton with the Yankees. Then we've got uh, Archie Bradley with the Diamondbacks. Uh, Blake Snell with the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, Austin Hayes with the Baltimore Royals. Boom! There we go. Player of the decade, Mike Trout. Youngest 200-200 member. All right. Is this a Mike Trout subset they got in here? I don't know for sure. We'll throw him right up there. Jose Trevino with the Texas Rangers. Again, they got that icon down there for inaugural season. And boom. First four packs. We finally got a Mariner. Tom Murphy of the Seattle Mariners. <laughs> my word, that's my first Mariner out of four packs. What's the world coming to? Um, I haven't fully decided yet, but if I do any breaks, I'll be sure and let people know. Okay. I'm not really one of them breaker channels per se i'll do a sale and uh most likely i uh cards that i don't pc that show up in my boxes when i open them will come to a sale on my channel again the first saturday of every month i have sales so um yeah um this is gonna be my first unique type sale with this saturday being my fourth of july mystery packs you will be you will see cards all the way from current day cards back to the 50s so it will be a wide range uh, and a var variation and a variety of cards in the boxes so david bender with the san diego padres rookie card uh trevor story with the colorado rockies um here we go brett gardner with the new york yankees um, Danny Duffy with the Kansas City Royals. Um, sorry about that. I hit it. <laughs> no more Mazzara with the White Sox. Uh, Kevin Crone. Kevin Crone with the Diamondbacks. Um, do you guys like it a little closer? Or it's just, it's easier if I hold it down a little bit. You should be able to see it. Uh, Josh James with the the Astros, Carlos Carrasco with the Indians, Billy McKinley with the Toronto Blue Jays, uh, Dallas Kuchel with the Chicago White Sox, um, here we go, Andrew McCutcheon with the Philadelphia Phillies, boom, here we go, there's our 2030 preview cards, the Futuristic, and look at that, it's the Luis Robert, Rob no, I'm going to say it the right way. Louis Robert. He don't like Robert. I always liked saying it, Robert. But I guess somebody said he does not say that. So, boom. The Louis Robert. R Rob Robert. There we go. Travis Arnaud with the Braves. And to finish it off is Steve Wilkinson. Let me get this in a penny sleeve and, and a top loader right away there. So far, that's our biggest hit. So far, for sure. Boom. Let me get my bell ready here. That is a cool looking. This is my first first one of these pulling. I I seen Eric. Eric just does his break so quick. You don't get you you don't get a chance to see the cards. I'm I'm not knocking that. Okay, he has a lot of stuff to go through when he's done those. But I like to enjoy looking at the cards. Uh, but there we go. By 2030, the White Sox envision Lewis being a veteran focal point of their lineup, perhaps having won an American League MVP award or two. 
The Five Tool Prodigy has the talent to do it. USA Today named Robert as 2019 Minor League Player of the Year honoree after he batted 328, 32, and 92 with 36 steals over three levels, all while playing sparkling outfield defense. Let me put that right there and put Luis Roberts' rookie card right in a prominent spot there. Wave the flag and wave it high. I want that Luis Robert. Let me know a price. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see there, Trent. <laughs> Let's see if I pull another one. How's that sound? And then I'll probably work out a deal for you. <laughs> All right, but uh, I bought some Luis Robert 2018 Chrome PSA 10s the other day. That is so cool. That is so cool. Well, that's a nice hit. We're only what? Uh, that was pack number five. So we're doing pretty good here so far, I think. We are doing pretty good. For five packs, we already got an awesome hit, that's for sure. About the only thing better could be an autograph from him. That would be cool. Um, Brian O'Grady with the Tampa Bay Rays rookie card. Uh, Garrett Cole. Garrett Cole with the Yankees. All right. Uh, Hunter Harvey with the Baltimore Royals rookie card. Uh, Trevor Williams with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Um... Zach Plesak with the Indians. Mike Leak with the Diamondbacks. Harold Castro with the Tigers. Uh, Kelvin Herrera with the White Sox. Ooh, looks like we got a nice shiny card coming up. Uh, Trevor Taylor with the Milwaukee Brewers. Rookie card. Uh, Steven Boat with the Diamondbacks. Boom, we got a foil card. We got our first foil card there, guys. It's a silver foil rookie card for the Oakland Athletics. Sheldon Noose. Boom. Let me set that foil card right here for now. That's a sub subset I'll probably be collecting. Boom, Gavin Lux. Gavin Lux rookie card from the 2030 set. That is cool. Let me set that down here. Uh, Wang Young Kim with the Cardinals rookie card. And Ronaldo Lopez with the Chicago White Sox. So, boom. Let me get that in. Gavin Lux into another uh, penny sleeve. And a rookie card. Two awesome rookies, the Gavin Lux and the Luis Robert. Robert, come on, say it, say it right, Pombal. Robert, Robert. But boom. As much as I like to, Gavin, I'm gonna here. I'm gonna put you in front of McLean for now, and then we'll put a put you in front of Roberts if we get another insert card there. Okay. But boom, boom, two hits, back to back packs. All right, maybe we, maybe we can get a, a hot box going on here. All right, get ready to move on here. Uh, Chicago White Sox team card. Boom, we got a Seattle Mariners team card. I don't even think they had one in Series One. They got a Seattle Mariners team card there. Oops. Narvaez. Tutuvila. Uh, bunch of Seattle Mariners there. All right. This 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 is the kind I want to get a, the gold card of this version. I still want to get that the gold card version of the uh, the foil for this this type of a shot. Mm, man. Yunus Cespeda, New York Mets. Not like these action shots, that's for sure. All right, Daniel Norris with the Detroit Tigers. Let's see if I do it this way. Um, 
Jose Rodriguez, rookie card for the Angels. Tim Lopes with the Seattle Mariners, rookie card, Tim Lopes. All right, JT Zuch, rookie card. Wow, a bunch of rookie cards here. Justice Sheffield with the Seattle Mariners. Paul DeJong with the St. Louis Cardinals. Boom, where are we getting all we we getting all these Seattle Mariners? D. Gordon with the Seattle Mariners. This is a Seattle Mariners hot pack here. Alright. Then we got uh Bryn or, or Brian Reynolds, Pittsburgh Pirates, Gold Cup card. Boom! Oh my word, Ronald Acuna Jr. Man, we're getting a good 20, 20 30 insert cards for sure. Ronald Acuna Jr. with Atlanta. Boom. <laughs> Boom, boom. Ronald Acuna Jr., Danny Jansen with the Toronto Blue Jays, and Spencer Turnbull with the Detroit Tigers. Boom. That's like three packs for three. Three packs for three. The, the second level here is like hot stuff. All right, we're gonna put the I'll put the Ronald Acuna here for now. I'm gonna leave leave these separated for now. That is cool, Ronald Acuna Jr. Boom! All right, moving on to pack number eight. Summertime, my oh my! <laughs> All right, we got six watching. I I know the numbers will go up and down. That's fine. I'm just having fun opening up this box. All right, so here we go. Uh, Colorado Rockies team card there. Uh, and Dalton Simmons with the Angels. All right, Francisco Mejia with the Padres. Uh, David Ro Robertson with the Phillies. Um, Ryan O'Hearn with the Royals. Uh, Ian Happ with the Cubs. Uh, Miguel Andujar with the Yankees. Um, Jonathan Shoup with the Tigers. Um, Ir Adrias Adrianza with the Twins. Uh, Wade Miley with the Reds. Uh, Wilson Contreras with the Chicago Cubs. Boom! Not as good a hit, but Alex Bregman with the Houston Astros, 2030. All right. Steven Strasburg with the Nationals. And to round up this pack is Charlie Blackman with the Colorado Rockies. I have to figure out on these new numbers here what the short print cards are. I got my list for my 2020 base variation advanced stat par SS or SP and SP SSP variations. I gotta get the different numbers for this 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 set now. Okay, so let me put him in a penny sleeve. I'll do a little bell ringer for the 2030 set. And let me see if I can grab a halfway decent one from the other stack here. Boom. All right, let me put that one there, that one there, Gavin Lux and Robert. So boom, we got out of those four packs, we got four 2030 cards. That was pretty cool. I like that. It'd be nice if they kind of put put them in each one. How do they got the numbering going on these? A 2030, 15, 7. I wonder how many they made in this set. Does anyone know how many how many 2030 cards they made in this set? Just kind of curious. I know I don't have a lot of a lot of fact checkers in here. But never hurts to ask. Don't have time to do it while I'm in the stream. The print quality suffered that year a bit, I thought. 
All right. Thanks, Sarah Frank. Uh, do you want to hear my 2030 predictions, though? Uh, they'll be plain and domed bodysuits. Where when the the ball will break can break the envelope but not break the seal and the bubbles that they'll be playing on the field with. I can fact check you, Donald. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> thanks, John. All right, Lance Lynn with the Texas Rangers with the inaugural season in the corner here. Just point that out for anybody that just popped in the stream here. All right, Alex Cobb with the Baltimore Orioles. Right. Um Austin Romine with the Detroit Tigers. Uh, Michael Brantley with the Astros. Uh, Marcus Stroman with the Mets. Uh, Martin Perez with the Boston Red Sox. Um Jose Asuna with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Gio Urshela with the Yankees. Uh, Luis Rangifo with the Angels. Um, Steven Duggar with the Giants. All right. Renato Nunez with the Baltimore Orioles. Boom, decades best. Rod Carew. Wow. The last one we got was Rod Carew. That's award winners, and that one was batters. That's pretty cool. Sorry there, Sheldon. We're going to put you behind the 17th decade's best card. Dylan Bundy with the Angels. And last but not least, Eugenio Suarez. Eugenio Suarez. So that's my base card so far here. I'm just going to make a little bit room here. I don't have my... Uh, let's see. I'll set them right here for now. Okay. Continue to rip. <laughs> Are you a time traveler? Uh, don't let my all my secrets out there, John. <laughs> just, just teasing. Adam Duvall with the Braves. All right, um, Baltimore Orioles team card. All right, what do we got here? Uh, Lamonte Wade Jr., Minnesota Twins rookie card. Uh, Denelson Lamette, San Diego Padres. Uh, Lucas Sims with the with the Reds. Um, Charlie Morton with the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, Steven Braut with the Pirates. Christian Walker with the Diamondbacks. Um, Walker Bueller with the Dodgers. Um, Rick Porcello with the New York Mets. Uh, Brandon Mimo, Nimmo with the Mets. Boom. Texas Rangers, Joey Gallo, outfielder, 85 throwback. Then we've got uh, Colby Allard with the Rangers, inaugural season insert there. And Clint Frazier with the Yankees. All right. One more pack after this, and we'll be halfway through the box. Okay, so Chris Bryant, uh, Chris Bryant with the Chicago Cubs, uh, Robert Duggar with the Marlins, um, Tanner Rourke with the Blue Jays, uh, Jordan Luplo with the Indians, uh, Kevin Kramer with the Pirates. Uh, Mike Miner with the Rangers, inaugural season insert. 
Freddie Galvis with the Reds. Uh, Will Smith with the Dodgers Gold Cup card. Uh, Michael Kopech with the Chicago White Sox. Uh, Homer Bailey with the Twins. Uh, Jose Abreu with the Red Sox. Boom! Warriors of the Diamond Stan Musial card. That's an awesome card. I'll put that right in front of the decade's best for now. Warriors of the Diamond. Cool Stan Musial from my Hall of Fame collection there. All right. Jose Ramirez with the Cleveland Indians. And Jason Hayward with the Chicago Cubs. Boom. All right. This is the halfway mark of the box. Pack number 12. Everyone give all the thumbs up. I've got 14. Wow, it's been a while since I tried to make it up to 20. That would be cool, though. If I could make it up to 20 in this dream. Um, so, Josh Hader. Josh Hader, Josh Hader with the Brewers. Um, John Means, Gold Cup card with the Orioles. Uh, Mike Zanino with the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, Keon Kila with the Pirates. Uh, Elvis Luciano with the Blue Jays. Um, all right, get a little close there. Uh, Jake Odorizzi with the Indians. Uh, Kevin Kiermeyer with the Tampa Bay Rays. Um, Tyler Chatwood with the Chicago Cubs. Uh, Garrett Stubbs with the Houston Astros. Rookie card. Hugh Darvish with the Cubs. Mikel Franco with the Royals. Chris Sale, pitcher all-star for the American League. Right? 85 throw, or, yeah, 85 throwback. Um, Logan Webb with the Giants. And Kyle Freeland with the Rockies. There we go. All right, moving on to pack number 13. Kevin's Ministry and more. How you doing, my friend? Have not seen you in a long time. I'm glad you're still out and about. Hopefully your things are staying well and you're doing well with your family. All right. So Cincinnati Reds, team card. All right. Uh, San Francisco team card. Um... Lance McCullers with the Astros. Delino DeShields with the Cleveland Indians. Uh, Ryan Zimmerman with the Washington Nationals. Uh, DJ Stewart with the Baltimore Royals. Um, Tony Kemp with the Oakland Athletics. Eduardo Escobar. There you go, Kevin. Perfect timing. We pulled one of these earlier and stuff, but this is the second one. Now you can do your shout out. If you can, if you're, if you're just watching in the background, by means, don't let me interfere with your work. Eduardo Escobar with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Shout out to Kevin's Ministry and more. Xander Bogarts with the Red Sox. Fogo Power de la Pica. <laughs> there we go. I knew Kevin would pop in with that if he was able to. Jose Rodriguez with the Angels rookie card. Boom, another Tim Lopes rookie card with the Seattle Mariners. Oh, my word, we got a Jordan Alvarez rookie card home run challenge. There we go. All right. Um, boom, boom, boom. Uh, Ryan McMahon with the Colorado Rockies. And uh, Bruce, Bruce Dar Gratterall with the Dodgers rookie card. All right. Pack number 14. I'll probably lose track of what pack I'm on in a minute here. I only remember because we were at the halfway mark. All right. Uh, Texas Rangers team card. And they got that little... I'll 
bring this up because so Kevin can see it on, on all the Texas Ranger baseball cards. They have the inaugural season little insert there for their new stadium, which they haven't got to play in yet. All right. And then we've got uh, the walk-off winner. How's this one go? Chris Bryant, Cubs celebrate a at home plate. All right. Then, of course, we've got a uh, Felix Hernandez. Felix Hernandez. Is that King Felix? Yeah, they said he was going to the Atlanta Braves. King Felix. King Felix. Going to try and pitch for the Atlanta Braves this year. That's cool. That's the first, uh, that's the first Felix Hernandez not in a Seattle Mariners uniform that I've seen. I'm still going to give him a bell. That's for you, Felix. We hated to see you go, but we know you probably would. As he winds down his career, he'll be he'll be finishing up and retiring soon. Hopefully he'll do things right and retire as a Mariner like uh, Ichiro. And uh, Ken Griffey Jr. G-Man Choi with the Tampa Bay Rays. I hope not. No, I mean when he 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 might play for a couple of years there, and when he retires, I, I I wish he would come back to Seattle and do the Seattle fans justice by by doing that. I I I could see your point as far as not having him go back, but uh, Felix Hernandez was beloved by uh, the Seattle fans for sure, and that's the only reason that uh, that would be the right thing to do is to retire as a Mariner and not another. But, you know, that's totally up to the individual players. Ozzy Alves with the Atlanta Braves. Won't go into my thoughts on that process. Austin Slater with the Giants. Jorge Soler with the Royals. Gar- Guy Game Carlos Stanton with the Yankees. There we go, Kevin. Uh, Archie Bradley with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Blake Snell with the Tampa Bay Rays. Ryan O'Hearn with the Royals. Oh, boom. There we go. Our second gold card. Colorado Rockies team card. It's a gold card. Number 669 out of 2020. Let me put that one, I don't know, probably there for now. It's all my different insert cards. Um, uh oh. This one's got a little gold label on it instead of the Tops logo. James McCain, Chicago White Sox. Hmm, that's weird how they put that one. Oh, no, it's just the way the light was hitting it. It's a silver. I thought it was a gold label. Just the way the light was hitting it. And Tom Eshelman, rookie card. <laughs> yeah, King Felix is a Mariner. <laughs> Tried and true to the blue. But I, every, everybody knew when he left. They, there was rumors in the rumor mill in Seattle that he'd probably be signing with the Atlanta Braves cuz he this after the end of last season he became a free agent and I think we got our hit I think we got our hit hopefully it's an autograph that would be awesome so Domingo Leba Leba with the Diamondbacks rookie card all right uh Max Fried with the Atlanta Braves future star um, Sam Gavig- Gaviglio with the Tampa Bay Rays. Or no, sorry, Toronto Blue Jays. Why did I say Tampa Bay Rays for? Brett Phillips with the Kansas City Royals. Brandon Lowe, future star with the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, Luke Weaver with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Uh, uh, Chris Taylor with the Los Angeles Dodgers. And hold on a second, Derek. I'm just going to make our hit last. Sorry about that. Uh, Dom Nunez with the Colorado Rockies rookie card. Um, Ivan Nova with the Detroit Tigers. Um, Jake Barria with the Angels. And uh, Luis Arreras with the Twins, future star. And our hit. 
I think I just gave it away. You guys see that? Lots of Diamondbacks in Series 2, yeah. All right. What do we got there? We got a Washington National. Boom, Steven Strasburg. Oh, it's a relic. It's a relic. That's fine. We got us a relic card. Washington National Steven Strasburg. You have just received a 1985 Topps Baseball Relic from Topps 2020 Baseball Series 1. I think they got a typo on there. This is, I think, on Series 2. But maybe they didn't make no new relics. You guys see that? It says on the back here. Top 2020 Tops Baseball Series 1. I thought we're on Series 2 Baseball. <laughs> Guess the relics are still from Series 1. But that's okay. It's still a good hit. Still a good hit. <laughs> Don't mind me for giving Tops a hard time. I saw another card that said the same thing. See, I, th I don't. These, oh, these don't s say really that it's series two or not, except for the numbering system on it. But still, awesome nonetheless. Oh, on Jab's channel, did you? That, that wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, the relics. Um. But I guess that's our hit for the for the box. But if I go through a case, I should end up with 12 hits. Uh, Kansas City Rolls, team card. All right. Um, roll reversal. Short stops. Torres, Lindor, go head to head. Oh, it must be the short stop against the short stop running. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, Kyle Garlic. All right, with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Rookie card. All right, uh, Vince Velasquez with the Phillies. Um, Ender and Cart Day with the Atlanta Braves. All right, uh, Dexter Fowler with the Cardinals. Uh, Brian Goodwin with the Angels. Um, Chris Shaw with the Giants uh, Pedro Severino with the Baltimore Orioles um, Corey Kluber with the Texas Rangers uh, inaugural season inset there boom there we go our second foil card Carlos Correa with the Cleveland Indians Put this in the back here with our other one. I'll highlight all the, the hits and stuff at the end of the video here. Boom! Sometimes when you get the, these hot packs, they have more than one hit. We got the gold Stevens Piscotti with the Oakland Athletics. Card number 830 out of 220. There we go. Our, I think that's our third gold card from what I remember. Then who do we got here? Uh, Rio Ruiz with the Orioles. And Albert Pujols with the Angels. All right. I think we're down to our last eight packs, if I remember right. I think, yeah. Eight packs to go. So we're two-thirds of the way down the box. on there don't mind me <laughs> boom revved up eating Kendrick shift gears <laughs> I don't know for sure if these are short that's a checklist card uh, anybody out here know how you research to find out I, th I think it was uh SSP kind of told me how the how the the backs the serial numbers on the backs of the cards. So this is how you can look, and it looks like all it looks like the base cards are like ninety nine. Sorry, I got to get out my my helper here. Yeah, 
Yeah, at least that's an easy number to look for. So 99, I believe, is the base. Can I get that to focus? But I'm pretty sure 99 is the base, and we'll find out later. So I'm pretty sure this is just a base card because it looks like a 99. So sometimes some of these shots like that are sometimes short print, but not necessarily all the time. Okay, I'm going to scooch that over a little bit. And probably after this pack, I'm going to shift over the last part. So Jonathan Hernandez, rookie card for Texas with the, the insert card there for their new stadium. Uh, Adam Eaton with the Washington Nationals. Uh, J.A. Happ with the Yankees. Um, J.T. Zook, Zook or Zooch with rookie card. Justice Sheffield with the Seattle Mariners. Paul DeJong with the Cardinals. Uh, D. Gordon, Speedy D. Gordon with the Seattle Mariners. Uh, Brian Reynolds, Gold Cup card for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Um, Kevin Kramer. With the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, Mike Miner with the Texas Rangers. Inaugural season insert on the bottom there. Roger Clemens is our 85 throwback card. All star. Put him back there behind, behind Steven so far. That's our hit from the box. Michael Taylor with the Washington Nationals. And Victor Robles. With the Washington Nationals Gold Cup card. Let me do our last shift here. Forgot through each eight packs. I should be shifting things over here. But that's okay. That will work. There, I kind of got it about evened out there now. Even though we've got seven packs left. You just straighten these out. These are rookie cards, future stars. I don't know if they'll have any World Series highlight cards in Series 2. They should, most likely. Or no, they had some World Series highlights in Series 1 from last. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, but I don't know what the what the code is for each series. They do a different code on the back here. You can see it's a 99 down here, but the last two digits will indicate if it is a short print, super short print, advanced stat pack, uh, or advanced stat par. So that's what I was talking about there. Sorry, John. Yeah, so it's easier to tell. So it was easier to tell. Exactly. Sometimes you can tell by the pictures. But here we go. Uh, Shogo Akiyama with the Cincinnati Reds rookie card. Um, there we go. Uh, Seth Mejias Brin with the San Diego Padres in his camo shirt. All right. Uh, Willie Calhoun with the Texas Rangers with their in stadium insert. Andrew Knapp with the Philadelphia Phillies. Austin Hayes with the Orioles. Ian Happ with the Chicago Cubs. Miguel Andujar with the New York Yankees. Uh, Jonathan Shoup with the Tigers. Um, Ehire and Adrianaza with the Minnesota Twins. Uh, Wade Miley with the Reds. Wilson Contreras with the Cubs. Boom! There we go. Oh, there's another trot card. I think we got one of these earlier. Um, signature Statistics. Trout ISO. Okay, so these are different ones. We'll get their uh, signature uh, significant uh, statistics. St oh, statistics. <laughs> Don't read it sideways. Turn it this way, blah, blah. You're trying to read it the hard way. All right. And then we've got uh, 
Keen Wong with the, a rookie card for him. And uh, Joey Wendell with the Tampa Bay Rays. All right. Donald helps me with my research. <laughs> oh, does that help you out? That Trying to find out the information on how you know if it's a short print or not. I just got to find somebody or find a... If there was a website to go to, that sure would make it easier. Uh, Derek Rodriguez with the Giants. Looks like the first two cards are horizontal cards in each pack. Miguel Sano with the Minnesota Twins. And then you pretty much go the other way for the most part. Uh, Julio Urias with the Dodgers. Um, Jacob Junis with the Royals. Um, Derek Fisher with the, the Blue Jays. Frankie Montas with the A's. Uh, Kyle Tucker with the Astros. Uh, Kyle Seeger with the Seattle Mariners. Bryce Hoskins with the Phillies. Um, Marcus Simeon with the Oakland A's. Uh, Brett Sutter, uh, uh, Brent Suter with the Brewers. Boom, Clayton Kershaw. Clayton Kershaw, all-star card for our insert, 85 insert. All right, uh, Freddie Freeman with the Braves. And Mike Fulton Wits with the Braves. All right. Fifth pack from the end of the box. Pack number 20. Four more packs to go. All right. Let's continue on here. We're almost getting to the end. And don't forget, I have the drawing for the monthly giveaway. Following this box break. All right. Harold Ramirez with the Miami Marlins. Uh, Dylan Batances with the Mets. Then we've got uh, John Bertie. John Bertie with the Marlins. We got Chad Pinder with the Athletics. Uh, Dustin Pedroia with the Red Sox. Uh, no more Mazzara with the White Sox. Uh, Ken Cron with the Diamondbacks. Uh, Carlos Correa with the Cleveland Indians. Uh, Josh James with the Houston Astros. Uh, Billy McKinley with the Blue Jays. Um, Dallas Kuchel with the Chicago White Sox. Boom, decades best is the Kansas City Royals. Kansas City Royals, decades best card. All right, Shed Long with the Seattle Mariners. And ending up the pack with Jerickson Profar with the San Diego Padres. Oh, who did that? Thank you, John. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. So, uh, advance that and in 113 variations and SP variations 115 um, SSP variations end in 116 and of course the base we know is of course um, was it zero I think it's 099 okay yeah so the bases are 099 thank you there John for doing a research for me there now i can put that on my little my little side note down here let me make a note of that real quick not not all of them i just gotta mark the spot where i'm gonna put that next part of the information on there how's that sound for the uh series one Series two. All right, it's going to be zero nine nine. Just a slight detour. 
advance that bar is 1, 13, 15, and 16. 1, 1, 3, 1, 1, 5, and 1, 1, 6. Yeah, that's kind of the way they do them. 80, 83, 84, 85, and then 1, 13, 15, 16. That's weird how they skipped from 13, 15, 16. Base card, nine. did you pull the, the cuts yet? Not that I'm aware of. Not that I'm aware of. I guess I'd probably know if I did, right? Andrew McCutcheon? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> All right, so we're getting into our last four packs here. Thanks. I appreciate that very, very much there, John. Very, very much. I appreciate you. All right. Jake Mayfield with the Astros. Uh, Drew Steckenrider, Steckenrider with, with the Miami Marlins. Uh, future star Brendan Rodgers with the Rockies. Um... Colin Moran with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, Freddie Galvis with the Reds. Uh, Will Smith with the Dodgers, Gold Cup card. Uh, Michael Kopech with the White Sox. Uh, Homer Bailey with the Minnesota Twins. Uh, Jose, uh, yeah, Jose Abreu with the White Sox. Um, Brandon Lowe with the Tampa Bay Rays. Future, oh, future star goes over here. Sorry. Boom. There's our next fall card. Danny Jansen with the Toronto Blue Jays. For my fall card collection. All right. Jose Abreu with the Chicago White Sox. Jose Abreu with the Chicago White Sox. Gold Cup. Or a gold card. And that one is 857 out of 2020. All right. And then we've got Jose Altuve with the Astros and Elvis Andrus with the Texas Rangers. All right. I can't remember if I saw the the Cutchin or not yet. I can't don't recall it off the top of my head. Um Mike Ford with the New York Yankees. All right. Uh, Jacob Stallings with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Um, Chad Wallach with the Miami Marlins rookie card. Uh, Sean Manea with the Oakland Athletics. Okay. Next we have Elvis Luciano with the Blue Jays. Uh, Jake Odorizzi with the Twins, uh, Kevin Kiermeyer with the Tampa Bay Rays, uh, Tyler Chatwood with the Chicago Cubs, uh, Garrett Stubbs with the Houston Astros rookie card, uh, Hugh Darvish with the Cubs, um, Ender and Carte with the Braves, uh, boom, Ricky Henderson, blue border, should be a short print. All-Star card. Nope, just the blue border variation. Just the blue border variation. All right, Cole Hamels with the Atlanta Braves. And Braves New World. Albies Acuna Celebrate Braves. All right, next to the last pack. Next to the last pack, we did hit our, our autograph or relic card. Uh, of course, the relic was the Steven Strasburg Nationals relic right there. But here we go. Next to last pack. Sorry about that. I took that off the screen. I shouted out who killed Kennedy when, after all, it was you and me. <laughs> oh, John. Uh, John must be a Rolling Stones fan. <laughs> Never know. Uh, Salvador Perez with the Royals. Um, Mark Kenna with the Oakland Athletics. Uh, 
Adrian Hauser with the Brewers. Wilson Ramos with the Mets. Um, uh, Jed Lowry. Oops. That went flying out there, didn't it? Jed Lowry with the New York Mets. Um, uh, Scott Heinemann with the Texas Rangers. Rookie card. And the little logo underneath of it. Another one, Danny Santana with the Texas Rangers. Uh, Mookie Betts with the Dodgers. Uh, Brandon Workman with the Red Sox. Uh, Joey Gallo with the Texas Rangers with their stadium insert emblem down there. All right. Uh, Tucker Barnhart with the Cincinnati Reds. Boom! 115. Is that a super short print? Nope, just a short print. But that's okay. We got a short print of Jeff Bagwell. Boom! Short print. Get that one penny sleeved up and put in a sleeve so it reminds me that it's a short print. Put it with my other short prints for 2020. Boom! Jeff Bagwell, Hall of Famer, short print card. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. There's a nice one. Babe Ruth signing a ton of balls. Got to be careful with your wording there. <laughs> uh, Scott Oberg with the Colorado Rockies. And Ramil Tapia. With the Colorado Rockies. I think they said on average there's one short print type card per box. No guarantee, of course. But on average, I think. So last pack in the box. Last pack magic. Let's see. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> Boy. I need you to keep me on track there, Trent. Or, or, to nerd Red Rob. Justin Smoke with the Milwaukee Brewers. And then Ryan McBroom with the Kansas City Royals rookie card. Boom! That's a nice little action shot for Jake Fraley. Seattle Mariners rookie card. He's definitely not in Seattle, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't know for sure where that one was taken. That's an interesting shot, though, for a rookie card. That is cool one. Um, Michael Wat Watcha with the Mets. Here we go. Andrew McCutcheon with the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, Marcus Strom with the Mets. Martin Perez with the Red Sox. Jose Asuna with the Pirates. Gio Urshela with the Yankees. Luis Rangifo with the Angels. Steven Duggar with the San Francisco Giants. Um, Renato Nunez with the Baltimore Orioles. And State of Mind is our next to last. Judge Sanchez rise up during the ALCS. And our last card in the box outside of the Silver pack is Mark Melancon with the Braves. All right. So pretty cool. Pretty cool little break there. Um, let me just put these in the box for the, for the time being here. Since these were most of the bases here. Set these rookies in here out of the way for now as we open up the mojo pack the silver pack okay this way I can go through these check for short prints do my sorting put them in the box till I throw the next one in John seems to know a lot <laughs> all right Mia uh, 
get all the dust particles out of here. All right. So let's do this one last pack here and see what we get in the Mojo pack here. Every box comes with a silver pack. And unlike, if, if Kevin's still around, unlike in the, the regular baseball packs, the Home Run Challenge card does not count as one of your cards. That's for sure. So let's see who we can get here. Okay. We use that as my, my cover card. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Looks like we got a St. Louis Cardinal here. Looks like we got a St. Louis Cardinal. You and him should do a conspiracy video. Who's that? Anybody know who that St. Louis Cardinal player is? Yadier Molina. Yadier Molina is our first mojo card. Put Yadier right down here until the other two, other three get revealed. We got an Oakland A's. An Oakland A's. <laughs> Goldschmidt. Oh, you were saying for that, that Cardinals card. Oakland A's. And the winner is... The Athletics, of course. Matt Chapman. Matt Chapman is our second Mojo card. Card number three. Looks like it's a Miami Marlin. Looks like a Miami Marlin here. Looks like a pitcher. Looks like a pitcher. Or is he throwing from the outfield? No, he looks pretty dirty for, to be a pitcher. A rookie card, Ison Diaz. Ison Diaz. And our last mojo card for the pack or for the box is it's a Houston Astro. Pitcher. For the Astros, and it is Justin Verlander. There we go, Justin Verlander. Boom. So we had Eason Diaz, Matt Chapman, Yadier Molina, and Justin Verlander. Those are our three, our four Mojo cards. We'll see how many we can get out of the case when we eventually go through it. So one more order of business to finish up here. Went, well, two, two hours. I have to keep that in mind for future videos when I include a box of 2020 Series 1. <laughs> All right. So without further ado, going to get ready here to do our drawing. I'll go through and highlight the cards. Plus, you will get a bonus item that will show up in your package. It's a surprise. Okay. So without further ado, I'm going to just pan the camera up real quick here so you can see. That is our Wheel of Names. And I will be back there in a minute here. We'll do, uh, we'll shuffle the wheel seven times. It does have everybody that's included in the month of June for the drawings. So without further ado, I'm going to go through these rookie cards, six rookie cards that you'll get for your free giveaway this month. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie card. From These are their rookie cards from Tops. Uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Rookie Home Run Derby card. So you get two Vladimir Guerrero Jr. cards. You get a Keston Hira Rookie card from Topps Gallery. You get a Shohei Otani Topps Gallery Rookie card. 
you get a Gliber Torres Topps Gallery rookie card. And you get a Jackson Stevens Cincinnati Reds rookie card. So you get all six of these rookie cards for the month of June. And yes, you guessed it right. That means for next month, month number seven, you will get seven rookie cards soon to be chosen by a channel creator that you know. <laughs> so let me uh, get things ready here. Line things up on the screen here. All right. I'll shuffle the wheel seven times. By the way, I, I, I tried to fix it and redo it and redo it and couldn't do it. There is, I think, uh, three blank spaces on the wheel. Um, if it comes up with the blank space, for some reason, I don't know why they're showing up in there. Um, if it shows up with the blank space, um, we will spin the wheel again. Okay? So just so you do know, all right? So I just scrolled through on the right here all the names in the list. I'm going to shuffle the entrance um, seven times. And then I will spin the wheel and we will see who the winner is. Okay? So drum roll, please. We've got one, two, three. Four, five, six, and the drum roll for the last random shuffle, seven. All right, I'm going to remain quiet here. I'm going to turn the volume up, and when I hear myself stop talking, I'm going to spin the wheel. Oh, my word. You have been chosen as this month's winner. Congrats to Kevin's ministry and more. Boom. Kevin is our big winner. The big money, big, <laughs> big money, big stop. All right. I'm going to close that out for now. Kevin's Ministry and more is our winner for our monthly drawing. So these will be coming in your uh, next package I got coming out to you, uh, Kevin. So just so you do know, boom, these are coming your way, Kevin. Uh, you heard your name called out. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Package I got coming out to you. Kevin. All right. So, boom, Kevin is the winner of the six rookie cards for the month of June. That was pretty awesome there, Kevin. Boom, 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 boom. So, without further ado, let me readjust this down here. I'm going to go through and highlight the cards we did get in our... Uh... Hold on, let me put this in Kevin's box over here that I've got for him. Congratulations there, Kevin, on winning those six cards. Next month, we will have another contest. All right. Again, it'll be seven rookie cards. I will be choosing them sometime between now and tomorrow because tomorrow is July 1st. Tomorrow will be July 1st. What time do you think you'll open my package tomorrow? Um... 
I'm guessing if I'm going to be starting at about 1030. So I am thinking that most likely um, probably about 1130 or so. Because the 1995 baseball car set is a smaller set. It is only 677 cards in the, in the set I'll be opening tomorrow for my Topps Baseball uh, card history. Okay, so most likely probably about 1130, Trent, just so you do know, okay? So other than that, I'm going to go ahead and get things wrapped up for today. I do have some other things I have to get taken care of today. Um, do appreciate everybody being... Edlin Vintage Collectibles. How you doing there, Edlin? Nice to see you in the stream here. Go ahead and check Edlin out. Okay. Check out Edlin's channel. You'll be ringing the bell. Oh, <laughs> uh, most likely, yeah. So before I do sign off, let me just get get myself ready here. Let me go through and I'll highlight just really quick here the the different hits we got out of this 2020 Top Series one. Of course, we got the Mojo cards. We got Justin Verlander. We got Yadier Molina. Um, we got Matt Chapman. And we got Isan Diaz. Is that was our only rookie card out of the Mojos. Then we did get um, these four 2030 cards for the 2030 previews. We got the 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 Lewis Robert 2030 card. All right, we got the Gavin Lux 2030 card. Then we got the Ronald Acuna Jr. 2030 card. And the Alex Bregman 2030 card. So that was the four 2030 inserts that we got in this hobby box. And then for uh, as far as other cards here, we got the Jose Abreu gold card. For the 2020 Serialized 2. The Danny Jansen with the Toronto Blue Jays. Then we got the uh, Steven Piscotti with the gold card. Um, the Colorado Rockies with the gold card. Okay, then we got a uh, James McCann with the White Sox gold card. I think. No, I think, yeah, we did get one more than one foil. I think I got the other foils on the other side. We got the a Mike Trout, youngest 200-200 uh, member. Then we got a Topps Now card, Juan Soto, youngest ever to hit three home runs in one World Series. And then we have the Jordan Alvarez home run derby card, which I don't think they're doing the home run derby this year. So those came null and void. Top should have something to go. Never mind. All right. So we already did that one. The foil cards. We got another foil. Uh, another foil card here was Carlos Carrasco with the Indians. Oops. Hold on. Get up here. And then we got um, the Sheldon News rookie card for rainbow foil card. I think that was the only ones of those. Then we got some decades best. Let's do the Trouts first. We got the Trout uh, Significant Signatures subset. Then we got the uh, Warriors of the Diamond Stan Musial cards. 11.1 war, uh, war, .1 war. Alright, and then we got some decades best cards. We got two Rod Carews, two different Rod Carews. Uh, uh, award winners and batters and then the 1980s decades best Kansas City Royals team card okay and then of course our some of our better hits here the Jeff Bagwell short print card the Jeff Bagwell short print this was our hit of the box because you look for a autograph or relic card in every hobby box. So we got the Steven Strasburg relic. Then we got some other cards. Got our 1985 throwbacks. Chris Sale, pitcher. Uh, Joey Gallo with the Rangers. Uh, Marcus Simeon 
with the Athletics, Gliber Torres, All-Star card, Roger Clemens, All-Star card, Clayton Kershaw, All-Star card, and the Ricky Henderson. Uh, color variation. It's blue, but it's not serialized or anything on the back. Okay. So other than that, that pretty much recaps what we got in the box. Then, of course, these here are uh, the base cards, and then these are the rookies, all uh, future stars. But I will be double-checking through these to see if there were any, uh, any short prints or super short prints that I might have missed. Uh, none that really jumped out at us while we were going through the cards. But other than that, boom. Just wanted to do my signature goodbye. Just show you my shirt I wear on my biography day. So let me turn the camera around real quick here. All right. This is Don Blondahl Hall of Fame Veteran Sports Cards and Collectibles. Having been live to you from Arlington, Washington, wearing my red, white, and blue hat with my uh, Hall of Fame inductions. Uh, but other than that, I the t-shirt I am wearing is uh, Edgar Martinez, Randy Johnson, Ichiro Suzuki and Ken Griffey Jr. shirt. For, I wear this one for my biographies every time I do it. And then give give you a sneak peek again at my my two boxes over here, my red, white and blue. All right. There's a few missing and stuff. I'll show you in a second here. Um but the first box there has uh, mystery packs 1 through 21, 22 through 51 are in the big box there. It's kind of partially hidden behind my storage box here. But there are uh, 46 mystery packs right there. I've got five mystery packs that are so far reserved. Six. Oh, did I forget to pull out 51? Hold on a second. I got 25, 5, okay, yeah. I got to pull out one more for Sally. It sounds like she sounded like earlier when she was here. She wanted to get number 51. So she signed up for 51. Let me turn my camera around. I'll show you. And again, all you have to do is you can send me an email or whatever you want to do to reserve a spot on my Red, White, and Blue Mystery Pack Series 1 Summer Edition. Again, it's packs numbers 1 through 51. Um, you can either t tap me a pack reservation in the live chat anytime between now and Friday. And then I will get your spot reserved. You don't have to pay to reserve. You just have to pay for me to open the pack on Saturday. So for packs that aren't opened on Saturday, if somebody doesn't pay me and somebody else would pay me for the pack, I will open that pack for them. But so far, Chuck is the only one that's paid ahead of time. He's got number 43, number 13, and number 3. So Chuck has three paid packs. He already paid me for his. Um, Robert Posada, R. Posada, Cards in His Cars, has number 5 reserved. Robert Hone has number 25 reserved. And Sally Lloyd has number 51 reserved. So yeah, actually, we got 45 packs left. Since I do have six reserved packs, and I'll leave you on a party note. And actually, I gotta remember to do this and go through and correct all my postings I did on this. But this is my information for my my packs. So I'll just kind of throw this up here for a second here, so you guys can kind of see that. All right, the red, white, and blue. Mystery Pack Series 1, $30, $5 flat shipping. If anybody does, would like to buy one internationally, like Sally said she did, it will be $15 uh, shipping per Mystery Pack. So if you do want more than more one Mystery Pack, you'll have to pay uh, basically about $45 for a Mystery Pack. But trust me, you'll get pretty close to your value back, including shipping in these Mystery Packs. Um, you can PayPal me to kjvrealbaptist at aol.com. Again, kjvrealbaptist at aol.com. Okay. 
and then uh, you can do that anytime you want just put in your number if pick more a few extra numbers more but put them in the order of preference that you would want them when you send me an email that way in case that one is already reserved it will be first come first serve okay so uh, the mystery packs do include one graded card one autograph card one relic or patch or medallion card one rainbow foil card one 2020 usa baseball card two rookie cards two sp or serialized or insert cards um, five hall of fame player cards and then you get five cards from the 2000 era uh, five cards from the 80s and 90s junk wax era and then five cards from the 1950s to 70s era so all in all you get 29 cards for $30 plus five dollar shipping if you buy more than one pack it's only a five dollar flat shit flipping <laughs> flipping charge shipping charge blah, blah, blah. it's been a long stream this morning so and this afternoon, I gotta go eat some lunch soon. Um, and I'm lonely at home because my wife went back to work starting today. So, just wanted to go ahead and end on a positive note. Um, I will be uh, continuing through on everything we got going here. We will see uh, tomorrow. I probably won't have no. Uh, no box opening tomorrow except for the family mail call. And I will see if I get anything else in the mail today to open up in tomorrow's family mail call. So tomorrow, so far on the docket, I will try to have the seven rookie cards that I will be uh, putting up for um, auction. Or auction. For my free giveaway for J July. And that will be seven cards, by the way. So it will be seven cards. And I will have those hopefully to be able to preview for you tomorrow. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to sign off for today. Again, um, I'll make further announcements as we progress through the week. Um, and also, I will uh, also let you know that um, we're going to have some fun this weekend. That's for sure. Okay, so you guys take care. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Um, we will see you guys around the channels. And I will pop up in your stream at some time unannounced. Um, and you won't know until I decide to make a comment or not make a comment. But I do get around to the channels when I can in my busy schedule. But you guys take care. Lord bless you. Have a wonderful day. And we will see you guys tomorrow morning for our 1995 Topps Baseball Card Set Review. So take care, have a great day, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye now.